Today, we're going to work on doing a senior friendly workout or a workout for those that are looking to try to start getting back into shape. Uh, again, an at home workout that you can do. The only thing that you'll need today is your body, a step if you have it, or something stable like that. If you don't have a step, that's okay. You can still do the exercises without the step by just lifting your feet up off the ground. So we're going to use the step for step ups. Um, but you can do that just by raising your feet. We're going to have seven exercises today that we're going to work through. We're going to perform three sets of each exercise, 30 seconds on, one minute off. And at any point in time, need a longer rest while we're doing the 30 seconds on. Take it, take the rest of the rest away through that minute, and then we'll fire up on that next set. So to get this started, we're going to do palm strikes. So I'll show you each exercise during the rest. And then we'll go from there. So palm strike, a slight squat, and you're just going to push forward. So we're going to do that for 30 seconds. <clears throat> I'm going to adjust this video a little bit. So we're going to do that for 30 seconds on, one minute off to start. We're going to do three sets. And again, in between each exercise, I will show you how to perform them. So let me get this lovely little timer started again. Nice. Slight squat, and here we go. And all you're doing is pushing forward. It's called palm strikes, or you can call them an attack, however you want to look at it. Go to a pace that's comfortable for you. And again, we're going to do 30 seconds on, a minute off. Ballpark. All righty, stop. Gonna take a minute, then we're gonna come back and do that again. So during the rest period, <clears throat> keep yourself moving around. The idea here is we're gonna get your heart rate up and then we're gonna try to bring it back down with the rest. Now, as you get more proficient with the videos, that you're doing and you can cut your rest period down, down, the better it is as far as getting more and more cardiovascular fit. But do what you can. If you need to take a longer break, then do that. If your work period needs to be less, shorten it up. Okay, here in about 10 seconds, we're going to fire up our second set of attacks. Shoulder width apart again. Slight squat. Here we go. 30 seconds. Now, if you can't squat that far down, stand straight up and do it. Otherwise, try to get whatever squat you can out of it. If you can go deeper, squat deeper. And take your rest. Again, about a minute rest. Then we're going to come back, do our final set of those. I usually like to walk around during my rest as I keep the body moving. Again, once you get familiar with the moves, you can do this on your own without the video and shorten your rest periods down so that you can get your workout in a little quicker. This is going to be about 32 minutes on this workout. So let's get ourselves set back up here again. Give me a squat and let's go. 30 seconds. Make sure you breathe. So you, can, you should be able to feel your core engaged here as you're working back and forth. And if you gotta go slower, go slower. And stop. Okay, 
We're going to take another minute break here. The next exercise that we're going to do is we're going to involve the step. So, it's just going to be step ups. So all you're going to do is step up, both feet, back down, both feet, back up, back down. Simple enough. Just trying again to get that heart rate up. Then we're going to bring it back down, bring it back up, bring it back down. So about 30 seconds, we'll go at step ups. We'll have three sets of those, same program, same routine. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds, or a minute off. Okay, let's get ourselves set up and ready to go here. Again, we got 30 seconds, both feet up. On, here we go, just like that. Gonna have a slight bend in your knee as you're going. And if you want, you can move your arms with it to get a little bit more work. It's simple movement. Let's get that body moving, blood flowing. Here we go, about five seconds. And stop. Take a minute break. Then we're gonna go back at that again. Keep yourself moving. Here we go. In about five seconds, we're going to start those again. Let's get yourself set and let's go. Again, if you don't have a step, just act like you got a step by just slightly raising your knee. So if you don't have a step, act like you have a step by slightly raising your knees. Or if you're at your house, use a step. On a staircase going up, if you don't have a staircase going up, maybe you got a decent sized book that you can use that's not going to slide across the carpet. And stop. Take a break. We're going to do one more set of those and get on to the next one. In about five seconds, we're going to do that third and final set of step ups. And let's go. Ten seconds. Come on. stop okay so our next exercise we'll this step out of the way it's called uppercuts so again about shoulder width apart you're gonna squat a little bit if you can and we're just gonna go just like this uppercuts if you can't squat stand straight up or if you can squat part of the time and the other part you got to stand up do that too there we go we're gonna do that in about 30 seconds Again, it's called attacks. 
Well, actually, they're called uppercuts. Sorry. Tax is the first one. 30 seconds on, one minute off. Okay, so in about five seconds here, we'll start these. Get yourself squatted, uppercuts, here we go. Just like that, go at a pace that's comfortable for you. If you can't squat, stand up a little straighter and do it. Make sure you're not leaning forward too far or leaning back. You're just gonna lean into it a little bit. Basically gonna throw them back and forth, uppercuts. And stop. Minute break. We're going to come right back and do those again. Keep yourself moving. If you need a drink, get a drink. At this point, you're sweating a little bit. Wipe the sweat off. Keep yourself moving around. Again, if at any point something gets difficult for you, cut the work time down, increase the rest time. If it's too easy, Decrease that rest time or increase the work time. Keep the rest time the same. There's all kinds of options with these videos here. Okay, about 20 seconds. We're going to fire that up again. Again, uppercuts. About five seconds. Get yourself set. Shoulder width or just outside of shoulder width. A little squat. Here we go. Again, anytime you feel like the squat is too much, stand up. And but continue to keep moving here. You only got about 10 seconds. Come on. And stop, minute break. We got one more set of those, and we'll move on to the next. Alrighty, about 15 seconds, we're going to do our third set of uppercuts, and then we're going to pull the step back out and do side step ups. So, alrighty, get yourself set up again, about five seconds, get that squat, here we go. Again, move at a pace that's comfortable for you, but makes you work too. You don't want to go too easy, but you don't want to go too hard either. Or maybe you do. And stop. Take a minute break here. Again, we're going to grab the step. So on the step this time, we're going to do side step ups. We're going to start on the side, step up, step up, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Usually tap that foot just to let me know I got there. That's exactly how this next exercise is going to look. Got about 30 seconds, and we're going to start that up. Hopefully you got some music playing in the background that helps out a little bit. Alrighty, a couple seconds, let's get set up. And let's start. Again. A little 
little tap. Here we go. About 10 seconds, we got this. Again, if you don't have a step, just act like you have a step. You see the pattern here. Stop. So, if you don't have a step, just step, 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 step. That's if you don't have a step. All right. We're taking our break. We're going to do another set of those. So, if you don't have a step, there's no excuse not to keep your feet moving. Think of it as your practice and dance steps. Okay, we got about 10 seconds, so let's get ourselves set up again. And here we go. Step, 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 step. Go a couple seconds and stop. All right, another minute break here. We got one more set of those, and I'm gonna move on to that next one. So we're halfway through the routine, ball parking, and barely feels like we're even started, right? Okay, about 30 seconds, we're going to fire up that last set of side step ups. And then we're going to go back into another one without using a step. I'm going to come back and step again. And then we'll finish one last exercise without the step. Okay, so we get about 10 seconds here, so let's get ourselves set up. Here we go, a couple seconds. And let's start. As you get more comfortable, you'll be able to start swinging a little bit more. But first, you want to get comfortable with the movements. Again, if you don't have a step, no excuse. You can still do the movements without the step. Again, we're not going to need the step for this next exercise. We'll move that back out of the way. So the next exercise is called scissor arm chops. And so really all you're doing with scissor arm chops is this. It seems simple enough, and it is. I usually have a slight bend in my knees, and you just chop. Thirty seconds. We'll start that up. All righty, here we go in about ten seconds less. Five now. Get yourself set up. Slight bend in the knees, shoulder width apart. Here we go. Scissor, feet, shoulder width apart, scissor chops. You're going to have a slight lean in forward with it. And about five seconds. And stop. All right, take a minute break. We're going to do that again.
Alrighty, about 10 seconds. Scissor arm chops. Shoulder width or just outside of shoulder width with her feet. Slight squat or slight bend in the knees. And here we go, 30 seconds. You're bringing the shoulders up to about, or your hands up to about shoulder height and back down by your waist, tight to your body. Again, we got about 10 seconds. Even if you're moving nice and slow, just keep moving. And stop. So even if your chops are like this right now, that's a start. You're here, you're moving, and you're starting. That's what we're trying to do, get you back into physical fitness shape so that you can do and live life like how you want to live. All righty. One more set of those. Okay, about 10 seconds, so let's get ourselves set back up here again. Feet shoulder width or just outside of shoulder width, slight bend in the knees, arms to your sides. Here we go. Let's go. As you can see, slight twist sometimes on the hip there in the rotation, but you're not trying to be stiff armed when you're doing it. You want that body moving. Here we go, a couple seconds. And stop. Alrighty. So the next exercise we're gonna do falls a step again. So this one is a side step with a rear cross. So you're gonna step, cross your foot to the other side of the step. Step this one back across. So this foot that's closest to the step is going to step. The other foot's going to go across the step and onto the ground. Foot on the step is going to come back to the side. So it's going to go boom, 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 boom. So take your time with this one. We don't need anybody tripping or falling. If you don't have a step, you can still do the same on the floor. Step, cross, step, step, cross, step. Okay, we're gonna fire that up here in about 10 seconds. Sidestep, a rear cross. And let's start again. Take your time, make sure of your footwork here. Don't want you to get tripped up on this one. Again, 30 seconds on, a minute off. As you start to feel more comfortable, you pick up your speed a little bit. We've got one more second here, and we're going to stop, take a minute break. We've got two more sets of those. Grab a quick drink if you need it. Again, keep moving. Keep your body moving here. We got about 20 seconds. We're going to do the side step rear cross again. Okay, let's get set up here and let's go. Again, step, cross, step, cross. Put that foot back down, step, cross, step, cross, foot down, step, cross, foot down, step, cross, foot down. Here we go. As you get more comfortable with it, 
you can pick up more speed and try to trip yourself up. It's always a fun game. Come on, we got about five seconds left. Let's go. And stop. Minute break. One more set of those. Again, go at a speed that you're comfortable with on that. Take your time. So if you're a step and you're taking a second to make sure that cross and then coming down and step, making sure that cross, and this is as fast as you're going, at least you're moving. That is the beginning. That's how we start. So think about it in that regard. This isn't about speed to start. You will pick up speed once your comfort level and your strength starts to increase. We had about 15 seconds, so we're going to start up that third set. Okay, let's get ourselves set up. We've got about five seconds. Side step, rear cross, final set. And here we go. Step, cross, and step. There we go. Again, you don't need a step to do this. And as you get more proficient, you can increase the height of that step to make the workout a little harder. So this workout has lots of room for you to grow by playing with the timing and also increasing the size of the step, the height of the step. And stop. Okay. Last exercise we don't need to step for, so we're going to kick that out of the way again. So it's going to be standing knee raises. So all it is, is this. That's it. This is what we're going to do. This is going to work on abs, hip flexors, quads. We're going to fire that up in about 35 seconds. Again, it's just this. So it's almost as if we're marching in place. We're going to do that for 30 seconds on, minute off, three sets. That's your workout for today. 20 seconds. Alrighty, let's get ourselves set up. Feet are going to be probably inside a shoulder width for most of us here on this one. So we make sure we're comfortable with those are balanced and let's go. Standing knee raises. And again, go at a pace that's comfortable for you. As you get more comfortable, try to crunch down just a little bit with your upper body here. So you're crunching down. As you can see, my chest is crunching. It's not a big movement, it's just a small movement. That's how I'm working that midsection right there. Just a nice small crunch. And I'll usually start getting my arms swinging with this once you get more comfortable. And let's stop. So as you get more comfortable, you can get a little arm swing with it. Get a little extra action out of it, okay? We got two more sets of those. We still got about 30 seconds here, 25 seconds before we fire this back up. Again, standing knee raises with a slight, so your upper chest is going to slightly bend in a little bit. It's just a little bit. It's a crunching action as we focus on that midsection. Alrighty, let's get set back up. We got about five seconds. We're going to start these standing knee raises up again. And here we go. Again. Slight crunch with that chest, upper body, as we walk, moving those arms. So it's the opposite arm, opposite leg. And you can go faster if you want, or you can go slower if you want. It's whatever you're comfortable with right now. I just want to make sure that we're going at a pace that works for you. We got a couple seconds. And stop. We got one more set and we're done for the day.
again, keep moving around, keep that blood flowing. About 30 seconds, we're going to fire up our last set. Alrighty, about 10 seconds. We're going to do a last 30 second set of standing knee raises. Again, here we go. Get set up. And let's start. There you go. 30 seconds. Again, get that slight crunch from that top there. Work that midsection. And Walking through this. We got about five seconds. And stop. Great job today. Again, take some time to cool down. Walk around the house if the weather's not good for you. If you got an exercise bike or anything like that, take three to five minutes. Just kind of cool down, get that heart rate down. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.